with not making it out of the first round since 2011, since the last and only championship the Mavericks have ever achieved in the NBA. Questionable trades and Luka's future seeming to hang in the balance. It looks like the Dallas Mavericks have started to try and turn the page for the better of their future. The questions remain, was this the right or wrong move and who follows? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is going on, everybody? Lindy Endzone in the building once again for the touchdown, taking the lead for the Eagles one video at a time and dropping some buckets for my Dallas Mavericks. If y'all are new to the channel and like the diversity of content that I bring, y'all, I'd love to have you a part of the end zone fam. All you got to do is hit that subscribe button, bang that notification bell so you get to know when I drop my content, obviously. And drop a like to help me out with the algorithm of YouTube to get my content further out there to other MFFLs and those that bleed green for the fandom of our Eagles. Hmm. I did not necessarily see this one coming um, recently. The Dallas Mavericks have mutually agreed with former general manager and Donnie Nelson to part ways. Um, Donnie, who has been a GM in the league for about 36 years, um, has closed his career as the Mavericks GM since 1998. So he's got about 24 years, um, you know, invested uh, in Dallas, you know, as the Mavericks GM. Um, of during his tenure of the last. Of the last 21 seasons, um, he they have made the playoffs 17 out of those 21 years. Um, they have been to the Western Conference Finals three times. They advanced to the NBA Finals twice, won once, uh, three division titles, including this past season. Um, the Mavericks, as a team under Donnie Nelson, have accumulated a win percentage of 58%. Um, three 60 plus win seasons and a franchise record set back in 2007 of 67 wins, which in NBA history is a sixth best record. So, I, I mean, judging by that, you know, you look at it from the surface, it, it's a pretty good resume that Donnie has uh, accumulated over time as GM for the Mavs. Uh, he's given guys like Dirk Nowitzki a chance and, you know, he was part of the influence in drafting Luka Doncic. So, you know, uh, like, like I've said how many times before, how did Dallas end up getting uh, as blessed as we have to be able to have these kinds of players on our team? Um, it's crazy to – definitely crazy to think about. Um now I have to think in the back of my mind, like, where where does the team go from here? Um, we've already heard rumors and, you know, rumors and speculation about, um, you know, Luka not in good terms. Um, Luka just not being in good terms or, you know, being argumentative with uh, Bob Volgaris. Does a guy like him who, you know, was a, an executive advisor for Donnie, do guys like him follow him out the door? What does this mean for Bob Volgaris? What does this mean for uh, Rick Carlisle as a head coach? I mean, who who's going to end up following Donnie out the door? Uh, <laughs> that question is yet to be answered to me. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, going through reactions and everything, there seems to be a mixed opinion, uh, you know, kind of like a 50-50 if you will, in the fan base on the departure of Donnie Nelson. I mean, this guy was responsible uh, for bringing a title to Dallas for the first time back in 2011 when we took down that juggernaut in the Miami Heat, LeBron's meltdown finals year. 
<laughs> cough, cough. <laughs> but uh, I, I mean, but no, I mean, all you know, all jokes aside, I mean, that's just that. That's just all I, you know, that's all I can think about right now. You know, be between Johnny's departure and then um, you know this, you know, this rumored speculation about you know Luca and Bob Mulgaris not seeing eye to eye and and you know that. Is there a power struggle in the front office there? Like, hmm, where have we heard that before? <laughs> you know, in, in, in terms of the Eagles with, you know, Doug Peterson, Howie Roseman, and Jeffrey Lurie, or, you know, our, our people. I, I don't want this to be a similar situation. Like, are, are people even on the – are people on the same page? Like, you know, these, these leaks had to have come from somewhere, you know, like the, where there's smoke, there's fire. Um, was Donnie – was Donnie the one, you know, leaking some of this information? Um, you know, Mark Cuban comes out and calls it total BS and and denies the claims and everything. And and you know, I I have to I have to uh, agree and you know and show trust in Mark Mark Cuban here, where you know he he treats Luca like he treated Dirk, and you know that's a, that's all. That's all fine and dandy, but you know, Mavericks fans have been starved of another title chance for about ten years now, nine, ten years. Um, we're used to be a winning franchise. Uh, we're used to having that, you know, that superstar that carries this team, you know, to great heights. Luca only being twenty-two years old, completing his third year in the league. Uh, we're set up perfectly again. We may even be set up better than we were with Dirk in the beginning. <laughs> you can only imagine that you know we can't we can't go through a dysfunctional situation with this. And you know I I I would stomach the day that um, you know if Luca decides not to sign his rookie max here and stuff like that. But I I think you know that's already been. Um, paid attention to um you know the last interview that i watched with luca I, I mean you know they've asked him already about signing a rookie max and uh you know he he kind of he kind of confirmed it a little bit in a in a joking way and and uh that he says that he intends to he tends to uh plan on doing so uh but you know if Mark Cuban says that he treats Luca like he did Dirk, and I would I would have to imagine that you know there, there's a responsibility here, man. Uh, just just put a team around him. Just just make sure you know that whoever you get in here as the next GM, so long as there's no promotion for Bob Volgaris, um, I, I think that would be an absolute disaster if that were to happen um i'm on the fence with rick carlisle right now i think he needs to um i i think there needs to be an evolution um you know in his coaching for you know what he asks on offense and defense i think there needs to be an evolution there uh, you know just just evolve to today's league um but yeah i i mean I don't know. I, I don't know. That's that's where I'm currently at with this. Um, I, I guess you know, in terms of turning the page and wanting to uh, begin a new chapter of the sorts. Yeah, this is this is a spot where you have to start at. But um, you know, I, I think other moves. I, I think other correct moves need to follow this. So they're you know, there doesn't end up uh, being a collapse. So um, Mavs fans, let me know what you think in the departure of Donnie Nelson. Where do the Mavericks go from here in terms of, you know, terminations or who they who they bring in to replace some of these people? Uh, who would you guys want as your next GM with, you know, people suggesting Isai Ujiri or Sam Presti and guys like guys like that who may be available. Um, I, I don't think we want a guy like Danny Ainge. So, uh, you know, but 
Let me know what you guys think down in the comments on the situation with the Dallas Mavericks and parting ways with Donnie Nelson and what this means uh, going forward, uh, you know, for Luka Doncic and the Mavericks as a whole. Uh, that's going to do it for me. I appreciate y'all hanging out and uh, keep making it to the end of the video here. Uh, this has been yours truly, Lindy Enzo, once again in the building. Appreciate y'all. Bleed green. Hashtag MFFL. Go Mavs, and uh, I'll see you.